Hey everyone, welcome to the final cut. Mark the Movie Man here, and I am still rolling, trying to catch all the best picture nominees for the Oscars before the Oscars. And I'm not sure if we're going to get to them all, but I've got another one notched off my belt, and that is Spotlight. Saw it last night, giving us the true story of how the Boston Globe investigated, uncovered, and uh, just dug all the information they could on the massive scandal of child molestation within the Catholic Church and uh, all the obstacles and everything they went through to try to bring that story to light. Tom McCarthy it brings us a film that, once again, this film is set within the last 15 years of a major historical event, just like The Big Short was. And so it may not be quite comfortable material for those out there, but this is something that did happen, and I felt like they were really trying to present the real facts with, of course, some dramatic flair, as always. But the way he directed this film, I think he handled this subject really well. We're told the story uh, through the eyes specifically of the Spotlight group. We never really leave any of the members. It's either Mike Ruffalo's character or Michael Keaton's character. So we're always told the story from one of their perspectives. And I really enjoyed that. I mean, I got pulled into this film right away. It, it shows what investigative journalism is all about, something that a lot of people feel is lacking in today's day and age. So I really enjoyed it. Showed them exactly all the... Uh, you know, all the things that they ran into. Now, Mark Ruffalo's character, Mike Resendez, he is the more gung-ho guy. He's the guy who wants to plow through. Okay, we've got bits of the story. Well, let's go with this. Whereas Michael Keaton's character is the more, felt like the more veteran guy. He's the guy who wants to be careful and make sure that they have enough material there that's going to be really hard to fight or refute. And I love the dynamic between these two. They do clash occasionally and just some great chemistry. But this whole cast does fantastic. Rachel McAdams is fantastic in here as Sasha Pfeiffer. Liv Schreiber's great in here just enjoyed every scene he was in and Stanley Tucci as well whenever you get all these veteran actors together ensemble casts sometimes it doesn't work too well but here it just clicked everybody you felt like the spotlight group has worked with each other for a while and just got engrossed and wanted to know more and and never once was I checking my watch or anything and it's it is a bit of a longer film but they take their time telling this story, but they also don't slow down. This film just keeps you going, keeps you interested, and really shows you the hurdles that these guys faced. It was really, it was really interesting. And so, this is an engrossing film. It's well-directed, edited, and acted. I can see why it got nominated, and I have a feeling a lot of people are pulling for it to win Best Picture this year, though I'm still pulling for Mad Max Fury Road, but that's just me. That was still my favorite film of last year, but this one is awfully doggone close as well. I gave it five stubs. I was pulled into it, really enjoyed it from start to finish, enjoyed it more than the big short. Maybe it was because I could follow more of the material, uh, but in any case check it out if you haven't yet worth your time and money i think and that'll about do it for us here at the final cut if you've seen this film please leave your comments down below as always make sure you subscribe to our channel thank you so much for your support as always i appreciate every single one of you and until next time keep that ticket stub